I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in she might What's turn up y'all this is 1028 awakenings and i'm back again with another motherfucking video but i am live from this bed okay <laughs> from the bed and um we still gonna do your reading all right, bro, we just gonna do it from the bed, all right? All right, so let's get it crack a -lack. And this video is sponsored by Rose Forever New York. Also, if you wanna order my notebook journal, everybody who's ordered it, they will be getting their free reading today. It's September 1st. All right, so let's get into your reading, Scorpio. We're doing 10 a day. Ain't no excuses about that. We're doing 10 a day, okay? All right, let's get into it for my Scorpios. Let's get into it for my Scorpios. All right, let's get into it for my Scorpios, what my Scorpios need to know at this time. Right out the gate. Okay, it says, protect what you have created. Be prepared, never give up. Ask your angels for help. Environmentalist, animal rights, okay? So Scorpios, you guys could be feeling like, man, I can't go through no rough cycles, you know? Um, you could be feeling like, fuck this shit, I want to give up, you know what I mean? And it could be right at a full moon where you're thinking about giving up or just throwing in the towel. Don't you do that dumb shit. I ain't raised you to act like that, okay? So y'all better get out of that goddamn energy and protect, um, and protect what you're creating, okay? This is not the time to fold. Granted, things could be hard. But when are things not hard? I just don't know a time where things are not hard, okay? All right, Scorpio, so you need to get out of your head. Some of y'all could be telling yourself some real fucked up shit, you know? Some of, some of these things that you guys are worried about are building, they're building up, but you got to book a reading. You have to figure out what you're good at. You need to brainstorm, okay? Because as you put that energy towards whatever gift that is, all you need to do is refocus your energy on that, okay? So I know when you got a nine to five, you like, I don't see it. You know what I'm saying? But protect what you create. And if you guys have not created something yet, you need to book a reading so we can handle it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we have a new moon in Virgo. So a lot of y'all on this new moon that we have coming in, you like, this shit is too much pressure. <laughs> okay. But this is the time to get prepared, not only to take advantage of the Virgo themes, but also we need to take care of the eclipse season that we're about to have, okay? And ground ourselves more, more than ever. So this is a time to make sure that you take very good care of your body. Let go of the toxins. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because as we go into the cold, right? And I know I was talking about this early, but it's important for in the summertime, us not to be in the air conditioning. Our bodies need to detox. That's why in other countries, it'd be kind of stank, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't have central air in their home, but they are letting out all those toxins by sweating and doing it the natural way. Now, in America, we are a little lazy and I ain't letting go on my AC, okay? But comes, but what comes with that is like problems when we get into the winter time, you see what I'm saying? Because there's no way for us to sweat it out. Asana is your friend, okay? Now, the Virgo themes controlling this new moon in Virgo is around your health routines. No shocker there because I'm talking to you guys about detoxing the metals, okay? You know, when I do readings, I like to let you know everything that they're coming with. They're supposed to be coming back out with a pandemic, okay? Now, this could be a little bit more harsher than the one before because it's about like the toxins and metals in your body, okay? So make sure your foundation is strong and stable. We really want to embody the, the natural earth. So it's, it's, you know, it's great for you guys to eat as many natural things as you can. 
Now, what is eclipse season? It is coming. And basically, it's a time for you to order the notebook journal. Eclipse season is a time to have a guided journal to work through, not only through the eclipse, but through the next years, okay? Um, so just know that this how journal, which is the notebook journal that you need to go ahead and order, <laughs> all right, will help you kind of catapult your next couple of years, okay? Oh, oh sorry. Oh. What are your plans for this new moon, okay? You need to work with the earth energy for sure, getting grounded right after Mercury, retro Mercury grade was done. And grounding is just basically taking off your shoes and going outside and getting that direct sunlight, okay? <clears throat> all right so whew, i took a lot out of me all right so let's get into it all right protect what you created some of you guys are just like man i don't know y'all want to give up y'all want to pack up y'all want to move away and spirit is telling you don't do that stand and fight stand and fight okay some of y'all did leave it says protect what you created some of you guys just you know be prepared you, you just felt like you couldn't take it no more some of y'all did bow out very gracefully gracefully on something i wouldn't say it was graceful but you know you let something go it's something that you created something that you started you gave up on it and you gave up on it right at the full moon all right what else is going on now that scorpio done gave up on something that they created okay damn you could have threw somebody else off balance when you did this, okay? But you had to make a decision, okay? So, you know, this shit came out in reverse. So I had to give y'all a pep talk. But whatever you put your time in, this could have been you invested in, you know, your job, your career, your boo thing, your boo hoo, your wife, your husband, whatever you put, whatever you invested in, you didn't get a return from it. Um, and you don't want to keep investing in it because it's not balanced, okay? And being unable to make a decision was hurting you so you had to make a decision the decision was leaving okay um and you didn't protect what you made so you let whatever you made fall scorpio okay and that brought instability to the situation with balance here in reverse it says blending the two ideas of others so somebody was not cooperative they didn't want to blend with you they didn't want to work with you or they made you feel like this they didn't really you know what i mean whatever this is okay damn I cannot believe the next car out is the star. Who the fuck would do this to the star? Now, this is fucking crazy. All right. So somebody let something fall down. Okay. Like just dismantle. They didn't give a fuck. They invested in the star, but they, they walked away from it. They were supposed to have faith in a bright future because the star literally is success. They, they exude success on many different levels. They have big dreams. They got positive changes that reoccur in their life all the time. And, and, you know, this is something about bringing rough times to it and the light at the end of the tunnel. So we got the star. You could be seeing a blue jay a lot, okay? So there was something that you walked away from. That was a smart decision. It was bringing you instability because somebody wouldn't make a decision. You are the star. And when you are the star, you do have a lot of responsibility, Scorpio. It is basically telling you that you need to protect your energy because when you don't, a lot of other people are, are in your energy as well, okay? And you have a big future that is responsible for a lot of people that you don't see today, okay? Your future is really bright, damn, and you got a block. So not a block, but that's the end of the story for you, okay? So you are destined for great things. You will be put on some kind of platform. Doesn't got to be social media. This could be like a, a recognize, you know, a, a a place or a particular thing that recognizes you for all of the accolades that you're doing. But your dreams are coming true, Scorpio. As long as you keep doing what you need to do, you'll be fine. You will see the light at the end of a tunnel. So don't give up. Now there is something that you had to give up on because it wasn't giving you. Uh, reciprocity wasn't giving you balance and you being indecisive was destroying you and it was well on its way destroying you uh your money too so i'm glad you got out of that energy you made a decision and you got back focused to what you need to do the star card is a very powerful star i mean very powerful card okay <clears throat> now let's see what you walked away from okay so scorpio what did you walk away from or they could have walked away from your business okay either way go if you toxic you know, you both are toxic. You know, you both are mirroring each other if this is something. Okay, so don't be going around telling other niggas that people are toxic. Everybody got a little toxicity in them. Okay, okay. 
Ain't nobody just walking around. What did you... Okay, you walked away from something that just couldn't mend. Okay? I want to fix things. You just couldn't fix things. They, you and this person just couldn't get on the right page, you know? And somebody was trying to, you know, put together something that was just already shattered. It wasn't coming together. Okay, Scorpio? It wasn't. I'm sorry. Yeah. And, and somebody is reflecting on that now. It says, being, being away from you has really allowed me to gain clarity. Like, you've gained a lot of clarity through this situation, and you realize this shit can't be mended. You don't want to go through this shit, okay? And it's okay. You know, sometimes you got to chill out, lay low uh, to get the, the real clarity that you need, Scorpio. And I feel like you got it. This person's still going to bring, bring their ass back over here because they feel like they have unfinished business with you. Nah. Okay, so this says we will always come back together. So this person thinks about how y'all always come back together, but not this time. Unfinished business is here in reverse. This person will not be resurrected. They're like, fuck you. And with this disagreement, damn. Okay, so that's crazy. Okay, so look, you don't want to make things right, you know, or you did. You mended things in a different kind of way because it says, I want to fix our connection in reverse. So, you know, you could have just left it broken after you reflected on what the situation was about. You know, somebody could have seen it with disagreements in reverse. They could have felt like it was a peaceful situation with you. You know what I'm saying? They never had nothing fucked up with you. There was never no unfinished business. But every time y'all came back together, it was bliss. Okay, but this person made a lot of mistakes. It says, I wish I could right my wrongs. So it was a lot of shit that this person did to you that was really fucked up. And they could have been doing this, you know, while they were doing the, you know, paperwork or organizing something or just focusing on something because she got a Mac computer here and she focused on her paperwork. So, you know, whoever this is, they could have been focused on their paper, you know, the things that they have to do in their life. Okay, but that was a mistake. Maybe coming back to you because now they can't be in a reunion with you, okay? This person want to meet up with you and touch you, but that shit is not going to happen. Well, unfinished business here, you done with this shit. You could care less about meeting up or doing anything. And it's all because of mistakes that people made, all right? And maybe in time, with the distance, you got the reflection that you needed. And that's good. It's always good to um, get some space in some, some things when you're dealing with people. So you can understand. Now, during that space, you feel like, oh, my God, what are they doing? Girl, they thinking about you just like you think about them. That's it. That's why you think about them so much and see their name. But that don't mean you need to return. And when you return to these people, think about it. Like, am I returning because this was good? Am I returning because I had great times that I want to recapture? Make sure you ask yourself that because you could be returning to misery. Okay? You need to know what you're returning to. You got to be honest with yourself, too. Like, what the fuck kind of clarity did this give me? Yeah, whatever this is, was it comfortable? Did you feel good in this? We got comfort, okay? So you got to be thinking about how comfortable you was in this situation. Did it make you happy? Okay? And if it didn't, you got to let it go. Hell yeah, somebody don't want to listen to your bitch ass no more. So somebody is ignoring you. They don't want to listen to your ass. They like, fuck that, I'm not going to listen to you. So whoever this is. Um, they could normally listen to your advice, but now they just saying, I just want to get out of your energy. Okay. Cause it's, it's because Scorpio, you want to break free. We got give us free. Okay. <laughs> we got the slavery card in this bitch. So somebody just want to break out of somebody's shackles. You know what I'm saying? You are being asked to break free, break free from the tribe in order to live your authentic life. This isn't easy, but it's very necessary. So whoever you like, they have to break free from these chains that they're, they're, that they're used to or, 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 um, used to being a part of but it's time for this person to be real and they're supposed to be doing this with you and they're supposed to trust that this love that they have with you will break them free but whoever this is they could have a breakthrough they could re reunite against you with listening here in reverse they are going to stop listening to you and then they're going to renege and, and listen to you again if you, they, you do have a platform i don't know why i can't talk <clears throat> Because listening to you in reverse is like, fuck you, bitch. I'm not listening to you. Fuck you, nigga. I ain't listening to you. And then secretly going to look at your page or secretly going to, you know, see what the fuck you talking about with listening here in reverse. Okay? Because they, yeah, it's going to be a plot twist. This person is coming back. Okay? Um, it says sometimes when things aren't falling into place after trying and trying, it's time to ask yourself if, per, if hold on, <sighs> if if going in this way would be a good idea, so why is your life can't flow easily and effortlessly? How can your plot, how can you 
prevent it even just a little bit so that's what i'm saying stuff's supposed to be able to go and flow if shit not flowing maybe you you going against the grain okay you know what i mean and maybe that's not the best option for you and this person but whoever this is they think about their comfort okay for real somebody gonna stop listening to you but they're gonna start watching you then they're gonna try to say they don't want to listen to you but then they're gonna end up watching you okay <laughs> like it's crazy all right let's see what else going for my scorpios what else y'all need to know at this time what else do my Scorpio need to know at this time? Okay, you could have an older sister, a mother, a womanly figure, figure, or you just dating somebody that's older, okay? Uh, what's going on with this older, mature woman? Okay, so this person has habits. I don't know if we will ever change. So this man could be thinking about you and you're an older woman and you got habits that you gonna have and you ain't got time for it. This person got habits that they got to have and they gonna have they don't got time for it. And at the end of the day, if y'all are the two same signs, middle kids, baby kids, two uh um firstborns, you know, you gotta be a e you have to want equal give and take. What happens here in the sideways, whoever this mature woman is and this and this man that she's with, they are going to give you equal give and take. We got habits. I don't know if we will ever change. It's sideways. So this person is thinking about breaking some kind of habit for you, for this older woman or this older man, okay? Because they feel like this habit ain't giving them what they want. It's sideways here. This could, be ha this could have something to do with roses. She got a rose in her hand. Yeah, whoever this is, they've been daydreaming about you and longing for you and thinking about you a lot, Scorpio. They also feel like you're very irreplaceable. The way that you love them, nobody else really loved them like that, so you kind of stood out. But this person don't got good habits, but they feel like, bitch ass, you don't got good habits either. This person daydream about you or masturbate to you as well. This is a lot of shit that just came out. This person feel like you be running all the time, okay? Every time something get hard, then your running ass go. It's in reverse, okay? So somebody could be... um. It says, I left when things got hard in reverse. So somebody could be coming back because things are getting hard. So they're returning to you, okay? And this person feels like they're worthy to have you now, okay? So whoever this is, they're coming back towards you. You could be an older woman because they feel like they're worthy of having you, okay? And this is this is something that you may have thought was going to happen with unexpected outcome in reverse, this person, this person didn't even know that they was going to come back to you, to be honest with you. Yeah, and they feel like they don't got no time. So somebody could be rushing in towards you because they have habits that they want to change. Okay, but this person do got a lot of shit that they need to reveal to you. And they got to tell you the truth about some things. Okay, what does this person have to tell Scorpio the truth about? <clears throat> oh, shit, I'm so tired of them revealing the truth. You like, God damn, Scorpio. Oh, shit, I almost lost some cards. All right, so this person is going to reveal the truth to you about something. They're going to come very quickly because they feel like they ain't got no time with unexpected outcome. It's something about the way that you handle things. Most women handle things like that, but you don't. Most men handle things the way that, you know, normal women, but you don't. And because of that, it was a plot twist. Somebody thought they could drag, drag you through some things, but they realize they can't do that now, okay? Um, okay, so yeah, this is a surprise, shocking, unusual. So yeah, the reason what this person has to tell you is very unexpected. It's a surprise, it's un it's unplanned, and it's gonna be shocking. Okay. All right. So whatever this person gotta tell you is very unexpected. It could really throw you off guard, okay? Damn. But it, it's not a proposal, okay? It's not that I want to be in no relationship with you. It's not anything like that because we got proposal here in reverse and wedding in reverse, okay? Music could be significant in the full moon. Unexpected. What's the surprise that um they want to tell Scorpio? Oh, shit. Okay, so Scorpio, you could be trying to be with this nigga or fuck with this nigga or fuck with this female, but this bitch will just want to be your friend. They just want acquaintance. They just want to be your acquaintance. <laughs> you know, that's what they want to tell you. Like, they just want you to trust them and support them and be loyal to them. They don't want to be in no relationship with you like that. They don't like you like that. There's no proposal here. There's no wedding here, okay? And that was really unexpected. Maybe you one of them Scorpios that, you know, you just assume everybody want to marry you or you just assume everybody want to lock you down, but... Nah, somebody just want to be friends with your bitch ass. Now, this also could be you. You like, nah, I don't want, I don't want to be your boyfriend. I don't want to be your girlfriend. I just, 
I just want to be your acquaintance. I just want to trust you, support you, and be loyal to your ass, okay? And that was very unexpected. Somebody was like, damn, like, what? You you don't want to be more than that? Nah, they don't. They just want to be friends, okay? Because they want to keep their heart intact. Well, heartbroken here in reverse, somebody is healed already. And they just see it ain't no purpose to do that. But it's best to stay in the atmosphere that y'all in, which is friendship. Bye, y'all. Talking to the moon Trying to get to you Talking to the moon